Okay, so I took a class on an academy special class uh, regarding the structure factor. I will paste the link of that class and during the class, at the end of the class, I gave one homework to do. But before uh, doing that homework, let me just briefly give you what is this structure factor is. The structure factor, you know, this topic is a very important topic from you know, the condensed matter physics and it is important for a CS and exam it can give you 5 marks uh, in part C. So what is basically this is structure factor you know you in while reading the Bragg diffraction you have re you have read that the atoms inside a crystal acts like identical scatterers okay. Now when some radiation this radiation may be anything it may be some x-ray some electron beam or maybe some neutron beam all, you know so when this incident radiation falls on the crystals then these atoms reflect it this is known as a Bragg reflection okay now it will depend upon uh, these atoms and some factors which is known as the structure factor this factor will will just quantify how much these atoms are basically scattering the radiation okay the quantitative measure is given by this structure factor and depending on uh, the orientation and the atoms in the basis and so several other factors you will get some interference pattern it may be constructive which is corresponding to some allowed reflection and it may be destructive also which is corresponding to some forbidden <coughs> reflections also so this is structure factor is denoted by mathematically by a factor f which is equals to sum over i i will be from 1 to n this denotes uh, the number of atoms per unit cell so this summation is extending over the atoms inside a unit cell the formula is f of i e to the power twice pi i into h e y plus uh, <coughs> k v i so I am just removing this one for the time being plus L W i. So this H K L are the Miller indices, U i, V i, W i are the atom positions, the coordinates of the atoms which you have taken i equals to 1 to n, let us say n number of atoms are there in the unit cell. So these are the coordinates of those atoms U i, V i and W i and F is known as the atomic scattering factor. This will depend upon the nature of the atoms if let us say it is sodium atom then its factor will be something if it is a chlorine atom its factor will be something now let us say in a unit cell there are identical atoms so for identical atoms the value of f will be same for all of them now i took a detailed class on this structure factor you can just watch that class i will give the link in the description now for the time being i will try to solve the homework problem which I have given in the class. So uh, we have a question like this consider a simple cubic monoatomic bravi lattice simple cubic monoatomic bravi lattice you are given which has a basis with vectors uh, one vector r1 is equals to 0 r2 is equals to a by 4 x cap plus y cap plus z cap. So as I told you i was extending from 1 to n so i is 1 and 2 basically 1 2 1 is this this is the Poisson vector of the first atom and this is the Poisson vector of the second atom. So you got u v w for the both the atoms. The Bragg reflection is observed due to the change in the wave vector between the incident and the scattered beam as given by k is equals to k is equals to n1 g1 plus n2 g2 plus n3 g3. So here you see this n1, n2, n3 these are equivalent to h, k, l values. So we can easily put it that into the formula g1, g2, g3 are the primitive reciprocal lattice vector for n1 is equals to 3, n2 is equals to 3 and n, n, n3 is equals to 2 what will be the value of the geometrical structure factor. So these values are given 
n1 is equals to 3, n2 is equals to 3, n3 is equals to 2. Now, you see, there is no mention of about the uh, f factor or the geometrical or uh, atomic scan factor is not mentioned. So, for the time being, we can just ignore that. Okay, we can just take the value of f to be 1. So, let us apply this here. So, let us remember a by 4 x cap y plus y cap plus z cap. Okay, so, let us apply the formula of the structure factor. So, uh, s will become the structure factor uh, uh, s which is a function of let us say n1, n2, n3. So, we are just doing some modification in the formula as per this because in place of h k l we have n1, n2, n3 now. So, we can write exponential uh, 2 pi let us say i into let us say x j n 1 plus y j into plus z k ok z j n 3. Now, for the first atom this x y z are 0. So, this becomes exponential 0 is 1 plus this is exponential 2 pi i x 1 x 2 x 3 a by 4 a by 4 a by 4. So, we can just take 1 by 4 and n 1 n 2 n 3 this is given 3 3 and 2. So, this becomes uh, 3 by 4 3 by 4 and 2 by 4. So, this will become like this. So, this is equals to 1 plus exponential uh, 6, 8, 8 by 4, 2. So, 4 pi i. Say, this is 4 pi i, yes. And what is this value? This value is 1. So, 1 plus 1, 2. So, the factor is coming out to be 2. So, in this way, you can handle this uh, problems from structure factor. The atom position in the basis will be given to you or uh, the atom position uh, in the unit cell will be given to you and here you see the if nothing is mentioned you can take the atomic scattering factor to be 1 and if it is mentioned then you will take it accordingly. So, you have to remember that original formula and using that you can easily solve problem based on structure. I hope you find this video useful if you are new to this channel. Please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Finally, thanks for watching. Anacademy is India's largest online teaching learning platform. You can prepare for various competitive exams like CSR, NET, GET, GEST, IIT exam, TFR. Especially if you are preparing for CSR, NET, Physical Science, you can join me on Anacademy Plus. I cover all the nine units of CSR, NET, Physical Science syllabus. My approach is especially I precisely give you the concept of the concerned topic. Then I discuss the relevant mathematical formula and do the analysis. Relevant problem based on the topic, including previous year questions, are discussed. Homework and assignments are also given. This is my profile and if you want to join my Anacademy Plus process, you can enroll for this course. And if you are new to this Anacademy uh, platform, you can take Anacademy Plus subscription using our referral code Felix R and Anacademy will give you 10% off. So take the Anacademy Plus subscription today and put your feet one step ahead towards reaching your goal. Thank you.